This weekend, viewers are in for a special treat when the moon moves in front of the sun, blocking sunlight and creating a fantastic ring of fire in the sky. This is an annual eclipse, not a total solar eclipse, but we'll have one of those soon enough as well. Here now to talk about how to safely view this eclipse and what else is coming up is NASA expert Anita Day. Anita, good morning. Good morning. Thank you so much for having me. So this weekend, the annular solar eclipse. What will we see? Explain for people who haven't been following this. What is the ring of fire? Yeah, so the path of annularity will be from Texas to Oregon. And so people in that path are going to see, <clears throat> excuse me, the sun covered by the moon partially. And so there's going to be this ring of fire where the sun normally is. You'll see the bright light of the sun um, somewhat obscured by the moon. And so in Los Angeles, what you will see, since you're not quite in the path, but you're close, you'll see a crescent sun instead of a crescent moon, which is something we're all quite used to. You'll see a crescent sun. That'll be quite beautiful. Absolutely. So, for example, our friends in New York, they won't get any of this. So everybody in the contiguous 20, uh, 48 states will get something. Something. Uh, something, yeah. So, for example, I'm in, in Maryland. So we'll have um, kind of a big bite taken out of the sun. Of course, I won't actually see anything tomorrow because it's going to be cloudy and rainy here. Better, better weather for you, I hope. Absolutely, yes, you take all those factors into account. So how can viewers safely see the annual eclipse? Because I know there is that concern about doing it the right way, not to harm your eyes. Yes, absolutely. That's a really important point. So we should never, ever look at the sun directly anyway. So if you want to observe the eclipse, what you need are some solar viewing glasses or an indirect viewing method. So the uh, eclipse glasses uh, you can find at libraries and, and a lot of other places. And the indirect method is very easy. You can make a pinhole camera at home. Or I got very lucky in 2017. I was at work. I wasn't at NASA at the time. I was watching the eclipse broadcast. And I decided to go outside to the courtyard to look at the eclipse. And I stepped outside, and instead of the beautiful dappled light coming through the trees, there were all these crescent suns on the pavement, because that is the pinhole camera effect. The light coming through the leaves was focused, and I could see the eclipse on the pavement. Oh, what a beautiful moment, absolutely. Yeah. Um, so tomorrow's event is the first of two solar eclipses that people in North America are in prime location to view within the coming year. Tell us about the big eclipse happening uh, in April of next year, and how is that one gonna be different from what we're seeing tomorrow? Yeah, so in April, we'll have a total solar eclipse, and that path is going to be from Texas to Maine. And so people in that path <clears throat> will have complete darkness. The sun will be completely obscured by the moon, and there'll be a moment where you can take off your glasses to observe that um, when the sun is completely dark, but you have to put your glasses right back on uh, before the, when the sun starts coming out. So that'll be very special. But also for that eclipse, everybody in the contiguous 48 states will get a little something. Um, it might be a, a nibble out of the sun, like you guys might have. So that being said, we have people watching this morning, putting this on their uh, radar for tomorrow. How can people get involved with the eclipse? Where can they go? Any insight? Yeah, that's a great question. So we will all be marking the eclipse in our own ways. I know some Native American tribes are not going to be viewing the eclipse. Um, my, my two Hindu temples in my neighborhood, the priests won't be viewing the eclipse either. It's against that tradition. But if you are going to view the eclipse, you can uh, participate in several ways. You know, go outside and observe safely with solar viewing glasses or an indirect method. You can get involved by looking at um, the NASA website, nasa.gov, to look for some eclipse activities. We have citizen science where people can get involved and make observations uh, of what's happening with the eclipse, you know, the changes in temperature, changes in, uh, in sound, changes in cloud cover. And then you can also watch our broadcast, which will be starting at 1130 Eastern time. Okay, great insight. It's, a, it's the ultimate shared experience for millions of people. So we're looking forward to it. And
Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel and download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV and Roku to watch on your TV.